So making chains in Blender is a lot easier than you might think. In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to quickly model some chains. It's ridiculously easy, very beginner friendly. And then we're gonna add some really simple physics. I'll talk about some of the settings so we can get a nice looking simulation. And towards the end, we might even throw in a few materials and lights. But uh, yeah, this is how you can make some chains in Blender. Let's jump in. So with a new scene open up in Blender, let's go ahead and select all the default objects. Just press delete. And to make a chain, it's really super simple. You're gonna go Shift A and under your mesh options, you're gonna go down and add in a torus. And we can go here to the add torus settings. Um, let's uh, make this 24 instead of 48, so 24. And then press enter. And then um, let's just make the minor segment something like 10. Just so it's not too, um, doesn't have too much topology. And then we're gonna tab into edit mode and with all of this active, we're gonna go R, X, nine, zero and hit enter. And then we're just gonna select the bottom half of this torus and go E to extrude and Z and extrude it down to Z like so. And now you can see this little orange dot, that's our origin points. So if you press A to select everything, go G, Z, we can kind of move it so it's more in the middle and our origin point is now in the middle there. So now if we go back into object mode, you can see this is what we have. Okay, we're gonna right click and go shade smooth. And let's go shift A, let's just quickly add in quickly our monkey head. And let's give that a subdivision surface modifier. Let's right click and go shade smooth. And let's go shift A and also just add in a plane, just adding in a few things we could use. Let's go S to scale this plane up like so, and then S, X, scale it on the X a bit. Control A and apply to scale, and then just tab into edit mode and then just grab these two back vertices and go E to extrude and Z, extrude them up. And then select this edge running over here and then go Control B or Command B. Roll your middle mouse button and add in some segments. Tab back out. And now let's grab our monkey here and go R to rotate. This is a fun little way of uh, demonstrating this um, scene here. And then we'll just rotate it like so. So we just have like this little setup. Let's grab our plane here, R, right click and let's go shade smooth. So now, we have all the elements in place. We've got our chains. Let's go G to move our chain up. Let's go S to scale it down about this much. Then we're gonna go Control A and apply to scale. That's really important. And then in our right orthographic view, we're gonna go Shift D to duplicate and Z and just move it up about here. So it's just under this chain and then go R, Z, nine, zero and hit enter. So now we have these two links like this. And then holding and Shift select both of them and then go Shift D to duplicate and Z and move it up like so. So it's sitting just underneath the next set and then go Shift R and then repeat that action. And you can keep going Shift R till you have as many bits of chain as you like. I'm gonna go over about this many. And then we're gonna select all of them. And while we're holding in Shift, we're gonna select just any one of them to make them the main active element. Then we're gonna go over to our physics properties and go rigid body. By default, it's set to active, which means it will actually be simulating and not just be a passive object. Um, let's just set the mass down to 0.2 kilos. Let's go down to the shape. This is the most important thing here. We want to change it to mesh because we don't want it an approximate, approximate. We want a direct mesh to mesh contact. And another thing we want to look at here because of the scale of our chain is going to be the sensitivity. At the moment, it's looking at a collision distance between the separate pieces. So at 0 0.04, that might be a bit too big for our chain and it's going to kind of explode apart. So if we go um, 0 0.02 maybe to try that out, that should be a good start. And we still have this main chain link selected, but how do we get all the other ones that are also active to have the same thing? It's very simple. You can press F3 on your keyboard and then type in copy from, and then copy from active. And now all of these little chains here have the exact same properties. So now if we go to frame one and we hit the space bar, we have a chain simulation. Now, obviously, how do we make it interact with our monkey? So let's grab Suze's monkey head. Let's go to the rigid body. And this time we're just gonna make it passive. And once again, go to the shape and make it mesh. And let's make it 0 0.02 under the collision. And you can do the exact same thing to your floor. Going ahead, give that a rigid body, make it passive. And let's go to the shape and make it mesh. 0 0.02 as well for the collision margin. And make sure to save it on your desktop. I'm just gonna call it chain and save that. And now from frame one, let's hit the space bar and look at that. We now have a very satisfying looking chain animation in Blender. And that is a really how easy it is to do a chain simulation in Blender. So now you can just go Shift A and add in a camera if you wanted to. 
and position your camera however you like. And then you can go ahead and enable cycles under your renderer and make a GPU and set the max sample to something like 50. And optionally, you can go down and enable motion blur as well. And then it's just a matter of going shift A, adding in a little light and moving it up. And let's give that a strength of 120 and let's increase the size. Now if we go Z and we go rendered, we can see we have a nice little example here. So this is how easy it is to kind of set something like this up. Now this isn't really a rendering tutorial. This is more just showing you guys the basics of um, doing chain simulations in Blender. But you know, if you wanted to render it out, this would be kind of a cool thing you could do. Um, let's, let me quickly show you guys how to add a material to each chain length as well, because that might be something you guys want to know. So let's just grab all of these chains, holding and shift select the top one, and let's go ahead and give that a new material and call it chain. And then go control L and then link the material so they all have it. And let's increase the metallic and bring down the roughness. And now we have a nice metallic chain. You can go to your world properties and add in a sky texture or optionally an environment texture if you have one, but that's all optional. But yeah, now we have a nice simple chain simulation. Go ahead, give everything else some materials like the monkey. We can give that a material. We can grab the background and give that a material. But that is how simple it is to do a chain simulation. Now, what are some other things you can do? Um, if you wanted to, you could grab the very top chain length link and you can go to your physics properties and you can make that one passive. So now if you go to frame one and hit the space bar, that one's gonna stay there, but the rest are all going to um, hang here. And if you go ahead and enable animated as well, you can go to frame one and hit the space bar. And now you can move this and in real time, you can see here, you have a chain animation as well. How cool is that? So this is the basics of chain physics in Blender. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this a little beginner's tutorial on doing chains and I'll see you in another Blender tutorial.